So Arabidopsis is the model plant. It's the equivalent of the mouse in medicine or pharmacy. Back in the year 2000, the genome for this plant was published. So the Arabidopsis genome was the first plant genome to be available. That means that anybody doing plant science research will use Arabidopsis first. It's a very small plant and it's very useful because it has all the parts that you want in a plant, from roots, stems, nodes, the flower is perfect and it grows really, really fast. So any changes you do in the plant, in the lab, you can see them in real life in six weeks. The data that's generated is very open access, so researchers can come along, they can find papers on a huge range of different aspects of Arabidopsis, from you know, seed biology all the way through to, to ecotypic analysis, and they can use that to apply it to more complex crops, things that grow slower, things that are bigger. So it's very easy to go from seed to seed in Arabidopsis, very short, very quick, but something like an oil palm plant or something like tomato takes significantly longer. We at NASC have the biggest collection of Arabidopsis seeds that have been created for the last 20, 25 years. So the current collection is about one million stocks. And the way we think about it is like Amazon. We're Amazon, but instead of books, we do seed stocks. So at the moment, we send approximately 100 to 120,000 stocks per year to over 30 different countries in the world, from South America to North America, Asia, Europe, and even to South Africa. So Arabidosis has been used in many areas, not only in plant science, the most interesting ones lately has been in climate change as an environmental monitor because you can expose this plant to different pollutants and see how it reacts and at the same time for biofuel production. For us the most interesting part is space biology. It was the first plant to go into the International Space Station. So Arabidopsis is such a flexible tool. It's such a, a powerful way to change our existing crops. As, as climate change, as weather alters in the near future, we're going to be able to look at crops and modify them according to the research that we can do iteratively over and over again, very fast within Arabidopsis.